Hey everybody, this is Troy Alexander. Listen, uh, this is an hour of faith with Troy Alexander. I'm so excited to be back one more time with Hamilton Radio. Listen, um, I'm, I'm excited about what God is doing. And I'm grateful for all those who, who, who are... I missed last week. I had to take care of a matter. I had to go out of town uh, with the family emergency. But I believe God and trust God and thank God for the miracle that God turned things around. Things, things that were supposed to look one way, God said, I'm going to turn it back the other way. And that's, I said, I told my church family on yesterday, I said, I was like Hezekiah. I got a word that, that, that came to me that things was over. But then I turned my face to the wall. I said, God, I know, God, that you're able to do it, God, that no matter what's going on, no matter what the diagnosis is, God, you're still God. It doesn't change who you are. The promises of God, what, are uh, yeah, yeah, and amen, nothing about who God is changes because the situation changes. I'm telling you right now, this is why I make sure no matter what's going on, you tell God thank you and give God praise and, and trust God and hold on to God. Then say it's going to feel good, but what? It's for our good. Why? Because the Bible says that all things work together, what? For the good to them that love God, who are called according to his purpose. So I'm excited tonight to be back with Hamilton Radio. One more time, our faith. Uh, listen, I got two more shows. I got this show, and I got next week. And then my summer session for, for Mondays at 7 o'clock will come to an end at least right now. Listen, who knows? Something might change, but I speak it into the atmosphere that another door, if not this door, another door is going to open up. And I believe God because the word of God needs to get out there even the more and to encourage people and let them know, hold on to God. No matter what's Make sure you hold on to God. God bless you again tonight. This is Troy Alexander, Hour of Faith. Listen, I got a couple things that I got to share with you before we get to our main uh, uh, word tonight that God gave me to share with you. But listen, there's a few points of purpose that I need to share with you, things that I put on Facebook uh, just to uplift, to encourage your heart. And listen, number one, being in the valley doesn't mean you don't know God, but that God wants to know that God wants you to know him greater. Listen, I'm telling you right now, every experience that we go through, everything that we do is to get to know who God is. And listen, when I get to the subject matter about testimony, oh my goodness, and dealing with tests and looking at the definition of what a test is and what God, listen, I'm telling you right now, there, 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 there's a purpose in all things. If I had a chance to talk to Joseph, he would say, listen, I, I might not have understood it in the beginning, but at the end, I saw the revelation of what God promised me. I'm telling you right now, there is a promise that God has given you, and I need you to hold on to what God has declared for your life. And I'm telling you right now, there's so much more that's getting ready to take place, but you got to maintain yourself, maintain your praise, maintain your joy, maintain your walk, make, make, listen, maintain your stand up. God, listen, after you've done all, do what? Stand. No matter what, make sure you hold on to the word of God. Everything God has declared, God said it's coming to pass. Everything that's crooked, God said, I'm going to make it straight. Everything that's rough, God said, I'm going to make it smooth. So I just need you to hold on to God and know that God is with you. That no matter what's going on, God's in control. Who else can be great? There is no situation that's greater than God. There is no diagnosis, Lord have mercy, that's greater than God. The Lord is able to do it, whatever it is. The Bible says with God, all things are possible. Not some things, not one thing, not, not, listen, I'm telling you, and it doesn't matter who it comes from. No matter who is making the declaration, God's promise is greater. If they told you it can't be done, God said it can be done. No matter, listen, I've seen God. I've seen God make stuff up here. He has the power and the authority. Why? Because he's God. And somebody said, Troy, why are you doing all this? Why, why are you coming on here every week, every once a month? To sh because somebody has to know who God is. And we're getting ready for a, a, a second coming. Listen, why I do this is because of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 13 through 18. Read it. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 13 through 18. Make sure you read it. And then read Romans chapter 10, verse 13. And then read Acts 
chapter 2, verse 37 through 38. Why am I doing this? Because I'm getting ready to, to, to go to another place. This is not my home. We getting ready to go to glory, y'all. We getting ready to go to, listen, that, but seek ye first. Listen, I'm telling you, the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. So I'm here tonight to encourage you. Listen, let your, set your affection on things above, not on things on this earth, but I'm telling you right now. And guess what? When you put God first and, 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 and have him be the head of your life and lead you, he give you other stuff too. Lord have mercy. The blessings of the Lord do what? Make it rich and out of no sorrow. Listen, this is rich with joy, peace. Lord have mercy. There is no price for a peace of mind in God. I'm telling you, when, when, when there's chaos, when the storm is raging all around, Jesus was on the ship and he was still asleep. And God said, I can give you that kind of peace. I'm telling you right now, this is about a declaration tonight. And I, and I need you to make a deck to yourself. I shall live and not die. I, I, I shall have my joy. I shall have my peace. I shall have everything that God has declared and designed for my life. I'm telling you right now, get ready, y'all. Get ready. Really quick, I got a couple upcoming events. We started a Bible book club September 5th. It's going to be at 7.45 p.m. It's a Thursday night. It's going to be at the Heritage at Clara Barton. That's 1015 Amboy Avenue in Edison, New Jersey. Third floor conference room. We're coming from Isaiah chapter 38 and Isaiah chapter 40. This is not Bible study. This is the Bible book club that God gave me. And the book club is where everybody reads a passage. And everybody comes and shares if they want to share what they got from the passage. And we empower each other. It's a difference. So I'm telling you. It's been wonderful. It's been live on Facebook. We've gotten a lot of good. people have been encouraged because it's about encouraging each other. It's about in, in the strength of God. If I'm here and you, we strengthen each other. We're pulling each other up because it's about a declaration today. And I'm telling you right now, so shall it be. September 5th, y'all, make sure, email me at, at call to inspire at AOL.com, at uh, m.troyalexander at yahoo.com. Connect with me. I'm on Facebook, y'all. Send me a message if you want to know more information. But September 5th, Bible Book Club, 745 Heritage at Clara Barton, 1015 Amboy Avenue, Edison, New Jersey, third floor, coming from Isaiah chapter 38 and chapter 40. Listen, September 7th, y'all, we're getting ready. There's a play called Rapture. If you don't know about the Rapture, listen, you don't want to miss this play. But it's at Faith Temple Baptist Church in East Orange, New Jersey. So, so um, one address is 499 Main Street, but then there's another address of, of, of two cross streets. But if you Google it, all right, Faith Temple Baptist Church in East Orange, Bishop Blue, Bishop Blue and Lady Blue. That's where we're going to be, September 7th at 1 p.m. And, and I'm in the play, y'all, but it's about the rapture, the second coming of Christ. Lord, have mercy. I'm telling you, it's a powerful, you don't want to miss it. If you have any questions, email me, connect with me. And I'm telling you right now, it's going to be a powerful play. And, and, and I'm, I'm honored that God has given it to my mother to write, uh, to produce, to, to, to direct. It's wonderful. So we give God all the praise for that. And uh, listen, y'all, I got one more thing really quick. Uh, we're getting ready for our next Hour of Faith radio show. Of course, it's next Monday, but the monthly one is on September 19th. 9.30 to 10.30, right here on Hamilton Radio. So mark your calendars, uh, September 19th, 9.30 to 10.30, right here on Hamilton Radio. I got one more announcement before I go off, but listen, let's get ready for the word. Um, every morning, every morning, I put on Facebook a project I am. I wake up in the morning and God gives me a word to share. And, and, and this is the word that God gave me this morning. And it goes in line with what the message is for today and 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 listen i'm telling you right now i am just another testimony god already knows he knows who you are and what you can take lord have mercy he will not give you more than what you can handle and with god remember that all things are possible there is no situation that you are in that god cannot bring you through this is a fact because there is no situation what that's greater than god I'm telling you, y'all, 
What you feel is just another testimony that God is about to turn it around. Before you call, God said, I have already answered. The word has already gone out. Your healing has already been sent. Lord, have mercy. Your deliverance has already been ordered. For we walk by faith and not by sight. Don't just stop at the point of seeing it as a test, but go a little further in the promise of God and see it as a testimony. Now tell God, thank you. Lord, have mercy. I'm coming from the book of Revelation, y'all. Go with me. Revelation chapter 12 and verse 11. Lord, have mercy. And, 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 and uh, it reads as thus. I'm just going to read uh, the first part of it, and it reads thus. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And it goes on to say, and they love not their lives unto the death. Listen, right now, God said, I need you to have a testimony. The reason why you're dealing with what you're dealing with is because I'm trying to give you another testimony. You don't, you remember what God done brought you for before. He's the same God then. He's the same God now. But before I get there, listen, what is a test? Lord, have mercy. A test is defined as a procedure intended to establish the quality, performance, or the reliability of something, especially before it is taken into widespread use. It's a trial, an experiment, a pilot, a study, a tryout. Well, I got news for everybody listening right here on Hamilton Radio. God's promise has already been tested and proven, and guess what? It works. The blood of Jesus still works. No matter, I'm telling you. So the test, it's already been tested. And if you look at the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 11, it says they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. Listen, the blood's already been shed. Lord, have mercy. The blood has already been shed. And what follows after that? And they overcame by the blood of the lamb and what? The word of their testimony. That's why you cannot stop giving your testimony. I'm telling you right now. You don't, don't, don't stop. Listen, as a matter of fact, start giving your testimony before the test is even over. As a matter of fact, start giving your testimony before the test shows up. Lord, it's already done in Jesus' name. Whatever comes your way, I need you. Because listen, it's easy to get to a point where you know what? I, I don't feel good. I, what I'm looking at doesn't look good. But how many know that God doesn't go by what it looks like? He go by what he declared in your life. There's a promise that God has given you. And God said, I'm not going back on my word. God said, my word has already gone out of my mouth and it shall not return. But everything that I have declared for your life, God said it's going to show up. So I need you to hold on to God. You don't see nothing else? Hold on to the word of God. Don't see how it's going to work out? Hold on to the word of God. Keep repeating. And guess what? God just dropped in my spirit. When a product is tested, it's tested more than once. So what I need you to do is, I need you to hold on to the word. And not just, what I mean is, I need you to quote the word. Until you believe it. Lord, have mercy. I need you to repeat the word over and over and over again. No weapon that's formed against me shall prosper. No weapon that's formed against me shall prosper. No weapon that's formed against me shall prosper. So no matter what comes up against you, it won't work. And even if it looked like it's working, Lord, have mercy. It's working in your favor. I'm telling you right now, I need you to know that the test, is giving you a testimony. And I got some more that I got to share with you that God has given me. Lord, have mercy. A test is based upon what you have been taught to see how much you remember. Lord, have mercy. And I said, Lord, why isn't it that the test is to, is to help you to understand more about what you know? You know what God told me? Because you already know it. You wouldn't be tested if you didn't know it. Meaning if you wasn't taught. So God said, I'm not going to give you more than what you can handle. That means God has already given you the word to get through it. God is not going to allow a storm to come in your path. And I have already equipped you 
with the life raft, the rowboat, the paddle, the, 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 the splinter in some case, Lord have mercy, or that broken pieces. God said, I've given you what you needed to make it safe back to shore. And God said, listen, the test is based upon what you have been taught to see how much you can remember, not what you know. God said, know this. Know that what all things are working for my good. Know that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Know that everything God has declared for my, know that I shall live. And, and listen, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go there right now. God said, there's power in your tongue. There's life and death in the power of the tongue. So I need you to open your mouth right now, right where you are, and say, Lord, save me, deliver me, set me free. Thank you for being free. Thank you for saving me, God. Forgive me, Lord. I'm sorry, Lord. I'm telling the Bible says, Romans what? I, I said 10, 13. Everybody that called on the name of the Lord shall be saved. You keep calling on God. I'm telling you right now. So I'm just here to encourage you to let you know the test is to help you to remember, not tell you what you know. You already know what God has declared for your life. It's in the word. I don't have to go to nobody. To, it's in the word. Find yourself in the word of God. I got another point. Lord, have mercy. As we get ready. Listen, and we know, I said that all things work together for the good to them. This is the open book test. This is not a test where you got to go and read it and, and, and close the book. If you need to, go back and open the book. God said, the answer is in my book. God said, the answer is in my word. And then guess what? That's why the Bible says, listen, write, write the word, put it in your heart. Put the word on the inside. There's one, one, one word. There was a father talking to a son. He said, Lord, bind it about the necks. Put the word around your neck. Put it in your heart. Put it on your wrist. Put it everywhere. So, so that it'll help you remember what God already told you. God told you you're coming through this. God told you I'm going to bring you out. And if I don't bring you out, God said, I got purpose in it. Like the three Hebrew boys uh, in the fiery furnace. If you don't do it, we know he's still able. So I need you to know that God is able. No matter what's going on. No matter what it looks, I don't care how high it is, God can bring it down. I don't care how wide, God can bring it together. And no matter how many broken pieces, God can put it back together. If he knows how many hairs is on your head, don't you know he can take care of that situation? Lord have mercy. So I just need you to be encouraged today. I need you to know that God is with you. Listen, and, 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 and um, there's another interpretation that I got from this scripture, y'all. And, and I need, this is, this is from the worldwide English version. It says that no testing has come to you that other people do not have. But God would not fail you. Lord have mercy. He would not allow the testing to be too hard for you. No. When the testing comes, God will make a way out for you so that you can go through the testing. God said, I'm not going to give you more than what you can handle through me. What I need you to do, God, I, I, I heard God say, cast all your cares upon me. You're holding too much. God said, you're holding too much in your hand, too much in your heart, too much in your mind. God said, if you keep your mind stayed upon me, God said, I'll keep you in perfect peace. So I need you. You're carrying too much. God said, cast what? Not some of your cares, but all of your cares. For I care for you. And I just need you to be encouraged today. And, and, and stop trying to carry it along with God. Lord, have mercy. Stop trying to carry that, that problem, that burden, that situation. Stop trying to carry that hurt. Allow God to take it from you and deal with it. I'm telling you, he's able to do it. And I got another, listen. They have won the fight against him by the blood of the lamb, death, and, and by what they have said. Lord, have mercy. By the blood of the lamb and by what they have said. Open your mouth. And declare your healing. Listen, this week I leave my hands on myself. I said, in the name of Jesus, God, I believe you. Touch, touch my body, God. Deal with that situation, God. And I and I keep realizing, and and I feel God, uh, um, um, 
telling me this. Don't look at God as though he's somewhere far off. When you accepted Christ in your life, he's with you. God said, I won't leave you nor forsake you. So I sit back. I'll be at work sometime. I'll be at home. I sit back and say, wow, the greatest power is living on the inside of me. Use the power that God has given you. That's himself. It's not a separate power source. It's he himself. God said, use what I've given you. Speak your healing. Speak your turnaround. Speak your peace. God said, I've given it to you. God said, and, and I hear God, Lord, have mercy. I hear God say, I'm coming for your words. Lord, that's in the word, y'all. He said, I'm coming for your words. But Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21 says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Open your mouth right now and declare that in the name of Jesus, so shall it be. I will have my peace in the midst of the storm. Stop trying. Don't, 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 don't tell yourself that the only way you can have peace is when the storm is over. No, no, no. In the midst of your storm, God said, I've given you peace. Peace that will pass it all understanding. This is not humanistic peace. This is God's peace. I'm telling you. So I need you to know there's a peace of God in the midst of the chaos on your job, in your house. And I'm even saying in your mind, God said, I give you sweet sleep. So I need you to hold on to God. Trust God. It's about a relationship with God. I was talking to somebody at the outreach on the other day. I said, I thank God for my church because, because, because it puts you in the right direction to have a relationship with God. But the relationship comes after the benediction. That's when the relationship with God begins to take place. That means you got to spend time with him, y'all. We got to spend time with God in his word, in prayer, in fasting. We got to spend time with God. And it's a relationship. So when ain't nobody else around, I said it, when ain't nobody else around, God said, I'm still there. When you can't get nobody on the phone, God said, I never hung up. Lord, have mercy. The Lord said, I'm still on the line. I'm on hold. I'm waiting for you to hit the button and take me off hold. God said, I'm right there for you. I'll never leave you, nor will I forsake you. So I'm here to encourage you. Take, take God off hold and resume the conversation. You ever see on your phone it says, resume, call? God said, resume the call with me. Stop trying to call everybody else. And God said, call me in the name of Jesus. So listen, y'all. I'm getting ready to go into our prayer. But, but in the next few minutes or two, if you want to call in and give your prayer request on the line, I'll open the line at 609-807-2492, 609-807-2492. But I'm telling you right now, God said, I'm not going to test you to the point where you don't know how to pass it. God said, if the test come, God said, I've given you the answer. Lord, have mercy. And then I heard God say, before they call, I already answered. Lord, have mercy. But if you got a prayer request tonight, you can put it into the comment section of of the show on Facebook Live. You can call into the show in the next minute or two. But we're going to go into prayer, y'all. We're going to go into prayer and just believe God and trust God. But I need you. It's a relationship with God. Why are we doing this? I'm getting ready. Getting ready for the rapture, y'all. Getting ready to meet in the midair and, and, and spend eternity in glory. That's where I'm trying to get to. The job, God, don't, don't spend time let God deal with it. Yeah, address it as, as God leads you. And all that ways acknowledge him. But make sure that you put God before everything you do. And trust me, God will make sure that everything is in place. Uh, so at this point, I'm going to go into prayer. Uh, and just, again, your hearts. Father God, we thank you today for all of your grace. Thank you for your mercy, God. We give you glory. God, and we give you praise. We thank you. For the victory that you've already given us, God. We thank you for the healing, God. We thank you for turning it around, God, and making it brand new again. We thank you for mercies that are new every morning, God. Thank you for a proven, Lord God, a proven test, God. A proven, Lord God, study, a proven research. It's already done, God. And we praise you for the victory. Every prayer request, every unspoken request, God. We believe you, we trust you, and we, and we give it to you right now. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen and amen. Listen, y'all, before I let you go, let's see, I got a text of a confirmation on that uh, church, again, uh, uh, on the play about the rapture. Um, it's uh, Martin Luther King Boulevard and Halstead Street in East Orange, New Jersey. That's, again, Faith Temple Baptist Church uh, on the corner of Martin Luther King Boulevard and Halstead Street in East Orange. That's September 7th at 1 p.m. It's a play about the rapture. I'm going to be in it. A lot of our family is going to be, I'm telling you, it's a powerful play. And if you don't know about the rapture, Make your way September 7th. And if, you, and, and if you can't get there on September 7th, contact me. My mother, I'm sure she will come and do a workshop for your church. She will come to a workshop for your group. And because and, and God has given her a depiction of what the rapture is going to be like after the rapture. I'm, 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 and I'm, I'm telling you. So God bless you tonight. Be encouraged. I need you to hold on to God. I mean, we're going to hold on to God together, y'all. We're going to get there. Oh, yes, 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 yes. No matter what, everything God promised is coming to pass. God bless you, y'all. This is Troy Alexander, Hour of Faith with Troy Alexander. I'll see you next Monday. All right? It's at this point in time, at this, I'm, I'm claiming another door to open. But right now, according to the studio, next Monday is going to be my last Monday at 7 o'clock. Then I go back to every thir Thursday night right here on Hamilton Radio at 930. So, Prayerfully, another door will open. I believe God. I, I speak it into life, into existence, that another, another weekly door is going to open up. God bless you tonight. We love you. Be strong with God. What? All things are possible. God bless you. This is Troy Alexander, Hour of Faith. God bless you in Jesus' name.